from Slovakia. And it's called The Princess Who Would Be Queen. There was once a king who had three beautiful daughters. The king was so happy and gave his daughter every possible gift. He raised them from the time they were little girls, and he knew that as he grew older, he knew that one of them would have to be queen when the king would die. But which one? Which of the daughters was wise enough to be the next ruler of the kingdom? So the king devised a plan. He would meet his daughters and ask each of them one question. How is it that you love me and are loyal to me? The daughter who gave the best answer would succeed her father as ruler and queen. The king called his daughters to meet with him in the great hall of the palace. He said to his daughters, please tell me how you love me and are they loyal to me? The oldest daughter came forward and said, I love you as gold, which gleams brightly and never tarnishes. It is precious and sought by people all over the world. The king was pleased at his daughter's response. He knew how precious gold was and how beautiful it was. The next daughter came forward and said, I love you like jewels which sparkle in the light and whose bright and deep colors are prized throughout the world. The king was pleased at his second daughter's response for he had many jewels that adorned his crown and clothes that he very much enjoyed admiring them. The youngest daughter came forward and said, Father, I love you as precious as salt. The king was very upset with his answer and thought, Salt is dull and its color is so common and it's on my table all the time. This daughter is insulting me. The other daughters were horrified at their sister's answer and shared their father's great disappointment. In his anger, the king had his youngest daughter put in prison because of her insult, but he kept quiet and she said nothing. The large banquet was planned by the king for his oldest daughter, who was to be married. Many weeks of preparation were needed for the, all the food and decorations. Guests from far and wide came to the great hall for the banquet and hundreds of people were invited, including the prince and his parents, the king and the queen of the neighboring However, during the course of the preparations for the meal, the salt ran out. The main chef and servants began to realize what a crisis this was. Without salt, the food could not be preserved. Without salt, the taste of the food would be bland. The banquet became a huge disaster and embarrassment for the king and his kingdom as the food spoiled and the guests complained about the lack of flavor in the food. All the guests went home disappointed and the neighboring king and his son uh, canceled the marriage plans. The king realized his great mistake and the value of his youngest daughter's statement, I love you as precious as salt. He went to the prison himself and released his daughter, kneeling at her feet and begging her forgiveness. She forgave her father and smiled as she embraced him. The king now knew which of his daughters was the wisest, and it was his youngest daughter who would become the next ruler, the queen of the king. Yeah.